toasty warm in here. Um, it's somewhere just above zero outside. So I don't really want to get up because it's so nice in here, but I've got to. Well, leaving the truck behind now, tromping through the snow. I'm heading out for this, what I consider one of the best, not the best, but one of the best overlooks on the San Rafael. There's no real trail to it. I just, you know, been out here camping, hiking around and stuff, and I just kind of stumbled onto it. <laughs> From over here, I've hiked down four and a half, almost five miles of the upper black box rim. But uh, of it all, it's really hard to beat this one spot. One thing you discover out here on the desert is you look out through somewhere and you say, I'm here, I want to get over there. And you start making a beeline towards there and maybe you get several miles in or something and maybe more and you discover there's a crack in the ground 200 feet deep that is impassable it's steep I mean right here in not much time, that just keeps getting deeper. I'll show you what that becomes. I mean, that's one of the tough things, man. You can think, oh, I just gotta go a mile or two this way and I've got it. And you get out there and find out it takes five miles to get around that two miles. Yeah, you get hiking out through here and looks just like this, you know. And then uh, you would never believe you're going to see what we're going to see in a little bit here. All right. So you know that little crack we saw about 10 minutes ago? Look at it now. Hope you can get the perspective of it. And in, in hardly any distance, look how deep that thing is. Deep and narrow. And you see, if you thought, like from out through here, looking across just looks like a flat plain across there. Then you get to right here and you'd see, see that and you'd be like, I can't cross that. <laughs> so the only way you can do is you gotta go towards higher ground to get to the start of the wash 
and cross there and then come all the way back down. It can be a lot of extra miles. You would never figure anything that big and that deep out here. <laughs> Is that not insane? <laughs> All right. There's one spot where I can climb down here to the edge. I gotta find that spot that I discovered a couple years ago. We'll get down where you can, I'll show you the water. Well, we got quite some rock outcroppings here. <laughs> All eroded away. Well, let's get on down to the river. We're getting closer. All right, here we are. See the canyon right there. There's the river down there. It's hard to really capture the scope of this uh, without being here. I don't know. Because whenever I come down here and I take pictures and then I go look at them, I'm like, that didn't look like that to my eyes. <laughs> it's big. It's deep, steep. It's really quite the place, I think. Well, you get up that way, you can kind of see that canyon just keeps on winding. And uh, I followed it that direction according to my GPS. I followed it four and a half miles before. And that's where it, it opens up, goes around Mexican Mountain, and then goes into the lower black box. But, whew, it's spectacular. <laughs> now I gotta climb up on top of there. Clear up there again. Holy cow. I had to come down to here in order to get a view, in order to get to the edge where you could see the river in the bottom. It's quite some scenery around here, don't you think? Still piping hot, post them. Two or two and a half hours later. Oh, it tastes good. Yeah, a couple years ago, I did the whole loop. We started just down here a little ways on horseback. Went around this Mexican mountain right here. You that red one, you can only see part of it. Went around there on horseback to the lower black box and out through a couple lookouts there. <clears throat> then we had to cross the, fro the San Rafael River that was partly frozen. My horse broke through the ice. <laughs> that was fun. Then we came out on top and we had to follow some of these buttes. This one here you had to follow out until you see that little trough right there. Then we had rode our horses from the other side up over that down that side, then we kind of followed the bottom of that all the way around to uh, the bottom of uh, Mexican Mountain. Then we crossed the San Rafael again and rode back to the horse trailer of the truck. That was quite a ride. <laughs> all right, I'm back on top, heading back to the truck.
This will take us right out here to the edge. Just did a hike in where I went. Good luck. <laughs> Well, of course, from here you can't uh, see the water in the bottom, but there's the crack. Continues along. You'd hardly even know that it's a couple hundred feet down or so. Well, I've hiked all along from where I just was at. I've hiked all along the rim, all down through here, so I'm right on the edge. Hiking all the edge. Continuing out through here. I've been out on those little points out there and taking pictures. And just keep on going. And wandered my way. It was a little hairy right back through there because it's pretty steep and loose rock. And it goes clear out around the end and then it doubles back, makes a horseshoe. And goes back and comes out up that way. So yeah, I've been here, done that. It's pretty... It's spectacular. Alright, so I don't know what I'm doing here. Something I saw on probably Instagram, I don't know, somewhere. I didn't see how to do it. I just saw the result of it. So it's take uh, pickles, pickle spears, and wrap bacon around it. And I've made some toothpicks or spears or something. <laughs> I don't know what this is going to be like. But I know one thing. I like pickles. And I like bacon. So. Seems like I might like this. <laughs> <laughs> Another thing to stab that with. I'm like here by myself. 
Do you think I'm actually going to eat one, two, three, four, five, six of these? I don't know. I have no stinking idea if this is going to work. <laughs> if it's going to taste good or what. Let's go to it. Oh, I'm telling you what. I don't know if they're going to taste good, but they smell awful good. Man. I never really, I don't know, thought about the, the smell of, um, of pickles cooking. Combine that with bacon taste smells good anyway. But. And you combine, you combine bacon and pickles cooking the smell of the tun. It's pretty awesome. I think I'll have to stab that one in my time here. Man, that stuff smells so good. <laughs> I'm telling you, I can't wait to eat it. Woo! Put all of that on there. Now that bacon's cooking down. Cooking down. I was gonna try to kind of turn it on to all sides, but that's not really working. So I'm just flipping it over side to side, front to back. Seems to work just fine. Ooh, look at that. That one's getting there. I got in my tool kit and thought I had some dikes in there, but I didn't. I found the excess sticking out can be a little bit of a challenge when you're trying to turn these things. I am so excited I can't stand it. Alright, I think it's time to check one out. Maybe that one right there. Let me pull the wood out. Mmm. Bacon and pickle flavored toothpicks. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that is so good. It's a sin. Oh my gosh. <laughs> So pickle, wrapped in fried bacon. Mm. Mm. Oh my gosh. Oh my gosh, that's so good. <laughs> oh, the flavor, man. Cooked pickle. Wrapped around in fried bacon. The combination of those flavors is stunning.
That tastes so good. Oh my gosh. That tastes so good. It, it's got to be a sin. Oh my gosh, that's good. <laughs> Holy cow. I've never had it before. And I thought I probably couldn't eat six of these. Oh yeah. These will be going down. I will be eating all of them. Oh my gosh, this is so good! <laughs> oh man, I'm so glad I tried this. I almost wasn't going to, I thought, well, what the heck. I'm not camping, that's where I try everything. <laughs> oh man, I can't believe how good this is. I'm going to have to have this a lot. I guarantee you. I am telling you what. <clears throat> Bacon fried around a pickle. That's got to be one of the best things I've had. <laughs> I keep saying it over and over. That's so good, it's a sin. <laughs> Probably is a heart attack on a stick. <laughs> Imagine a pickle fried in bacon fat. <laughs> oh, man. It's like Doc. Tell tell your cardiologist. <laughs> hey, I found a new health food. <laughs> I mean, I mean, I'm eating them like they're going out of style. What is it? <laughs> Pickle spears fried in bacon. <laughs> Tell your cardiologist that, he'll say, don't leave the office, we'll just give you a bed. <laughs> We're too good to stop eating though. Holy hell. Maybe the pickle offsets the bacon. You know. So the heart pro so the, the heart problems that come with the bacon, maybe they're offset by the pickle. It could happen, I'm telling you. There's gotta be something that makes this, you know, healthy. Oh my gosh, I have a new addiction now. Thank you very much.
this drive. It's awesome. That's slime and drifting, man. It's fun. You have me to thank. I'm not even drinking. I'm sitting there drinking. Well, I was talking about that this stuff is so good it's a sin. So it reminded me I got my Lusty Monk Original Sin Mustard. So, so my dentist is real happy with me. Last time I go in there, my dentist says, Hey Perry, man, your teeth are really looking good. 